Hey everyone, my name is Jenna Redfield and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm answering a question that I get asked probably more than any other that I haven't really touched upon. And that is, can you use Notion as a social media scheduler? I have gotten this from multiple people over the past several months and I thought I would make a whole video about it because I think it can cover multiple topics and I truly believe I'm an expert in this subject. I've been doing specifically content marketing for about seven or eight years professionally um, as a coach as well as doing it for clients. So I have a lot of thoughts on this topic. I wanted to mention that I do have my new content uh, calendar Notion templates available on my Gumroad account, so you can check that out in the link below. I will be using it a little bit today in my tutorials, but let's get started because there's a lot to cover with this topic. So the first thing I wanna talk about is what is Notion used for in the content creation process? For me and for a lot of people, it is used as an editorial calendar. What does this mean? In the world of marketing, a lot of times you wanna plan ahead your content, what it's for, why you're publishing it, when you're publishing it, what it's gonna say, all of that stuff. Now, if you're a small business or a solopreneur and you're just making content, I do think it's also available for you as well because you kind of want to know ahead of time. For me, as now someone who is publishing videos on YouTube every week, I mostly use it as my YouTube uh, calendar and just figuring out, okay, well, what's my next video? It's a way for me to gather information about the video I'm going to be creating. So the things that I like to include when I'm planning content using Notion, and again, this is just the planning process. I think about what the content is, what it's gonna look like, is it a reel, is it a image, what is it? Uh, the goal and the call to action, because every time you publish a piece of content, you have to have it mean something, you have to have it do something for you. It's not just something you're putting out into the world with no purpose. Then what's the caption, or maybe if it's a YouTube video, what's the script or outline? What are you gonna actually talk about? Uh, what's the publish date? So what day are you putting it out? What time are you putting it out? And finally, what channel are you putting it on? Are you going to be putting on multiple like LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram? Where are you publishing it? Those are the really big things that you're going to want when you're planning content. And that to me is where Notion can come in super well. So the question becomes then, do you use Notion as your scheduler as well? And my answer is yes and no but leaning more towards no. I will kind of cover this. So over the past decade, there have been a ton of different apps that have come out that have allowed you to schedule content. I've actually done some uh, blog posts about this. There's about 30 to 40 right now that a lot of people use. And I have a whole list. If you go to my marketing resources in the link below, I have a whole list of all the social media schedulers with different pricing and all sorts of things. And some are specifically meant for certain apps. Like for example, there's a, quite a few that are specifically focused on Instagram and they're really well like coordinate with Instagram. Like for example, you can make reels. Not every social media scheduling app allows reels. So my thought is to me, Notion is the first step, right? It's planning the content. And then the next step is actually making the content, right? And you cannot make content in Notion. There is no way to edit graphics, there is no video editor. So for me, I always think, well, I'm going to be moving off of Notion anyways to make the content. Why would I move it back onto Notion to schedule it? Doesn't make sense to me. So what I do is I usually use Canva and I have done a couple of videos on this, but Canva not only is a content creation platform, it now has video editing, it has graphics editing, it also is a scheduler and publisher. So for me, this actually eliminates the need for another app um, in general. So whether that's a scheduling app or using something like uh, Notion to even like figure that out, going back to Notion doesn't really make sense to me. If I'm trying to do things um, in a certain way, it allows me to only have two apps, one to kind of plan it out and the other to actually create it and publish it. So when I, when people ask me if I, if I even schedule my content with Notion, I usually say no. Either I use Canva to create it and then I publish it either organically, um, I upload it myself because the other thing to think about is sometimes the platforms don't like it when you schedule content with a third party scheduler. I found that sometimes it does lower your views and your overall reach. So I'm the kind of person who uses Notion to plan and, ske and schedule out the content. I use Canva or maybe something like Final Cut or InShot to make videos, reels, TikToks. For YouTube, I you know use Final Cut and then I just straight up publish it. I publish it, I upload it, 
and now it is published on the platform. Going back to Notion, I can then use that as a way to track how many views it gets. I can also track, you know, just like what I posted in the past. So I use it almost as like an archive or past content to see like what has done well. It's a great way for kind of just to recap some of the analytics. So there are some ways that you can schedule content through Notion. And I did want to cover that a little bit. One of the things that has happened is in the last several years, the API has come out, which has allowed a lot of these uh, what I call like in-between apps. They're connection apps, things like Zapier, Automate.io, and the recently renamed Make, which used to be in a, in Integromat, now it's called Make. These actually allow you to sync to other apps. Like for example, the one I would actually recommend the most for social media scheduling is Buffer. Buffer has been around since I started. It's a very, very old social media scheduler, which means that it has a lot of uh, uh, users and a lot of history. So it's very reliable. So for me, one of the things I found is, for example, I can learn how to tweet. Twitter to me is probably the easiest thing to use Notion for because it's just text uh, for the most part. You can add other things to uh, things on Twitter. But for me, I find that I really enjoy just mostly just sharing text to Twitter. Another one that might also work is LinkedIn. Again, it's a little bit more text based, but things like Instagram and Facebook, which are more image based, not as easy. However, you can do that, I think, with Buffer. So I'm gonna show you guys quickly how to do that. You do need to have a Buffer account. You also do need to have either a Zapier, Automate.io, or Make account in order to do this. You do have to set up quite a few steps. So as I'm saying, it's not as user-friendly and intuitive as using something like Canva, which to me is a lot easier to actually just post. There's a couple of other things you can do. One of the things I like to use Notion for also is to gather content ideas. So using the Notion, Save to Notion Chrome extension, I can save articles that I've read. I also really like this really cool Twitter app that's called heyslide.it or it's heyslide.it where I can actually respond to like a Twitter thread and with I'll just tag them and then say Notion. I've had to set that up, but it's really cool because it will actually put the entire thread into Notion for me. So for me, I also use it to kind of gather social media content ideas um, inside of the app as well. But let me just show you guys how I use Notion to buffer. I'm sure there are other ways to use this as well that I haven't discovered yet, I feel like a lot of them are workarounds, which can be a little complex for the average user. So that's why I thought this one would be the easiest. And I may do a, a video in the future that covers new ideas or new apps that have come out that actually make this process easier. Because again, if it's super hard, you're probably never gonna use it. So I just wanted to show you guys to me the easiest way to make content um, in Notion. If you really wanted to schedule it from Notion, you can. Uh, but again, I would recommend choosing maybe another app using Notion as a starting point and going there. So let's just head into Notion and I'll show you guys how to do that. So for this tutorial, I wanted to use uh, automate.io, which is actually recently purchased by Notion. So I've added some apps that I have used to create bots. And the bot that I wanted to show you guys is this one called Notion Updated Database Item. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to find your app and you can choose if you want it to be a new database item, whatever, I usually do new. And then you choose the database. So in order to do that, you do have to set up Notion to link with automate.io and make sure that the app, or sorry, the uh, Notion board is integrated with uh, the automate.io. So once you choose it, for me it was a content creation pipeline, you could see all the output fields. Then you would also sync with Buffer. You will have to make a Buffer account. Buffer is not free, by the way, and neither is Automate.io. Automate.io, you can have up to five, I think, for free, five bots. And I think there's a certain number of actions per month. Um, Buffer, I don't believe they might have a free plan. I'm on the trial right now just to show you guys. Um, but you can see that you can select, you know, LinkedIn, Instagram, or Twitter. And that's the ones I've set up. And then you can select, you know, what you want. And for me, it would be the bio description caption, which is the thing that I have um, created for the uh, content creation database, which you guys also can get in my template. So this is really how you do it. You'd save it. And then um, you can also add an image URL here. I found this is very tricky. If you try to do Instagram, it doesn't always work. So that's why I get very nervous about using this for Instagram. Twitter, it's a little bit easier, um, but then you save the bot and then that should work. I have 
some tutorials that I'll link below uh, that might help you as well, some more in-depth tutorials. I just kind of wanted to run through that this is an option using in, um, automate.io with Buffer or using something similar. There are a lot of options out there that are coming out, but this is the one I wanted to show you guys. So I actually did tweet from this a couple of months ago and the tweet was basically saying that I was tweeting from Notion. So it did work. Uh, you may have to go through how to use both these. Again, I'm not an automate.io expert, nor am I a buffer expert, but I just wanted to show you guys that this is an option. To me, it's the easiest option to actually create and actually publish content from Notion inside of something like automate.io. Zapier also works. I do have a Zapier account. Um, I find automate.io is a little bit easier. It doesn't have as many apps though, but I have a feeling that in the future, Notion and automate.io will have a lot more connections because now automate.io is owned by Notion. So that's why I wanted to show Notion as the option. A lot of these apps work very similar. Make is very similar as well. And so I just wanted to show you guys this as an example. Before we go, I wanted to mention my content template calendar that is now available. This is $15 in my Gumroad account. Now, the biggest thing that I like about this, new, that now this is now with the new Notion uh, Better Databases, you can schedule things and look at it from a board view. You can look at it from a calendar view. You can look at it from whatever you want. So I really like the new, I haven't really done a lot of videos yet on the new database setup. But for this content calendar, you'll see here, I have the name of the piece of content. I've got the different channels. So whichever one you wanna do that with, what date you're actually gonna do it on or create it, publish date, as well as some of the apps that you need to use for creating that. So for example, like an email newsletter, you're gonna need a, a platform to send that out. So uh, Flowdesk is a great option for that. I use FG Funnels what the status is, and then here's where you would add the bio description caption for if you were gonna tweet something, immediately when it when you write that, it'll tweet it, so it has to be perfect. And that's the thing that I don't always love about uh, doing it from Notion is you're actually literally doing it here and then it should automatically schedule it. I don't always like that. And then there's topics and tags, hashtags, when it's done, you post the URL, um, what the call to action is, so you can add multiple different ones. Later, you can add you know, how many views or analytics did it get? And then it can also relate to things like your marketing goals. So that's in another table over here. And then you can see you have a published calendar as well for figuring out, okay, well, what have I published in the past? There's obviously a lot of other things that I've included. This is just kind of the basic one. Um, there's a lot of other resources it can link to. So I just kind of wanted to walk through this that, you know, this is how I plan out, for example, my YouTube, channel videos, I have it in the calendar when it's coming out. All of these things to me I found are the most important things when it comes to planning content. There's other things you can add as well. I've just found these to be the most important. So I just wanted to run that through you guys, uh, how I plan content using Notion. I think reading the book, The Profitable Content System by Mira Cothand is such a great resource. And I think everyone should read that before ever working in social media marketing. I think it's probably one of the best books on this topic. And I think it will really help you if you decide to go and start planning content and a content calendar. So anyways, I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. Um, I, I'm probably gonna do some follow-up videos on this. Make sure to also join our marketing and Notion Facebook group that we recently launched. It's gonna be helpful as well. I'm gonna be posting this video in there. So anyways, hope you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you next week.